You probably use an ATV on your farm, and it probably stays on the ground, well, most of the time. But what if it could actually fly? Farm Science Review, always a great time to review the latest innovations in technology. Mick Coetz is founder and CEO of Rise Aero Technologies. They're here at the review, and they're displaying some technology, well, that's turning heads. Well, this is the Rise Recon, and uh, what basically it is is an ultralight uh, vertical takeoff and landing electric vehicle. And so the idea is it's battery powered. Uh, the batteries last about 25 minutes. You can fly up to 63 miles an hour, and the vehicle can go in any uncontrolled airspace, the same as an ultralight aircraft can. Coet says the potential uses for the recon in agriculture make it a good fit for the farm. And as we know, farmers always on the leading edge of innovation. The, the reason why we're here is because farming is our first target market because we built this for people with a purpose. That was the idea, not just for fun, and it can be used for fun, but the real idea is how can people get benefit out of something as great as this from a technological perspective? And who better to start with than farmers? The first people to use GPS, the first people to use uh, autonomous equipment, the first people to really use satellite imagery were farmers. And so using a piece of technology like this, we know they'll respect it, they'll be able to care for it, maintain it themselves, uh, and they'll be able to use it to go do crop scouting, reduce soil compaction, uh, crop compaction, be able to scout out broken fencing, and be able to go there. Instead of just seeing it, you can actually land and fix it and keep going and fix more. Same thing for finding lost cattle, livestock, uh, to be able to use it to repair irrigation systems and just really to be able to do crop management and crop scouting not just from above but be able to get there and get out and, and check on things and fix things remotely. Of course, safety, a big question for onlookers. So this is a very safe system. It has six independent propulsion modules, which means it has six independent propellers, motors, batteries, and controllers. So the idea is if any one system goes out, everybody else is fine. In fact, if the battery stops working, the other batteries and the other propulsion modules will actually pick up the battery load for that missing battery. The idea is when something does go wrong, you can still get to the ground safely. So it's really the most reliable and safest ultralight vehicle on the market. For those wanting to buy, the Recon should be available for purchase down the road, but for a notable price tag, of course. It's starting to take reservations in early Q1, and we're going to be delivering late Q2, and uh, really to the general public, probably Q4. It's 150000 per unit. The Rise Aero team says one of the most common questions they've gotten here at the Review is, can it be used for spraying? Well, he says not right now. Who knows what the potential uses for it can be down the road, but there's several regulatory hurdles they're working through at the moment. So would you fly it? Well, I talked to two Champaign County farmers for their take after they saw it going around at the demonstration. I think it's a great toy if you've uh, got the means to own one. And for anyone that would like to fly, I think it would be awesome to have one. You can go up 15 minutes one way, 15 minutes back, but. It's got to be in your price range and be able to justify it, but it looks like a lot of fun. The farmer needs all the advantages he can possibly get in, in this day and age, so I think it's awesome, the technology. Talk, talking to them, the, the price will come down over time in the next two or three years once they get a little more uh, technology in it that they're putting into it. They're going to make it lighter even yet, and I was talking to the guy from the company, so it's a pretty cool gig, you know. I see it being, you know, people that are involved and like to fly. Hey, it's a cool deal. Absolutely. What's really cool, it's, on, it's amphibious. And, you know, you want to land on your pond or whatever, have at it, and your ATV doesn't do that. Whether it be manned or unmanned, the future of agriculture is sure to have many flying things. For Ohio Agnet and Ohio's Country Journal, I'm Joel Penorwood, reporting from the Farm Science Review.